say the bus driver has testified they plan to rape any woman who got on, with some of the men posing as passengers to trick people into boarding. Delhi police have rejected allegations by the woman's friend that they were slow taking them to hospital. The BBC's Andrew North reporting from New Delhi. The leaders of Sudan and South Sudan met today to discuss how to reduce tensions between their countries. The summit took place in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Reuters reports the two leaders agreed to set up a demilitarized zone along their border, a condition to resume oil exports. Both countries rely on oil revenues. Under an agreement reached in September, the South is to pay the North to ship oil through its pipelines, but they haven't worked out the details. People in Alaska and Canada are breathing sighs of relief after a powerful earthquake last night. NPR's Allison Keys reports officials have now canceled the tsunami warning for hundreds of miles. Boy, look at this stuff that's coming out of that exhaust. You should catch that on something that you, you know, the bay. <laughs> I'm just going to let it sit. I won't try to start it again right now. Let that dissolving fluid work its magic on whatever the uh, carburetor ports it can reach from there.
Jack's all on the ship now. There's already one in here. 